I, I know I haven't. I'm going to have to go back to my old six-man days. Here we go. And it will be Stevens and Gray back to return the kick. It's coming to this side. It'll go into the end zone, and Gray will take a knee. Cyrus last week returned two for an average of 18.5 and a long of 20. He's break the huddle. Jaborski Lane will be... And we'll uh, have a heavy eye here to the right side. Fullback is Lane. Play action. McGee under some pressure will throw it up over the head of Goodson. They're trying to set Goodson up here on this right side. Snyder, Grimes, Matthews, Ike, and Schumard are the starting offensive line. We just put McCoy. We'll tie it in in motion. We give it to uh, Goodson. He's out to the 26-yard line. Tried the middle and picks up six. And it now will be a third down and four coming up. Goodson's first carry of the game. Aggies were five of 13 on their third downs. We'll go empty in the backfield. Here on this side, you've got uh, Pierre Brown and Goodson. We've got two on the other side and also a tight end. Here's a throw. It's a catch. That's a first down. It's Texas A&M at the 30-and-a-half yard line. And that one's going to be caught by Gerard Johnson. Come out here and we'll have uh, two tights and they're flexed out. And you just gave it to uh, Javorski. And he just carried from the line of scrimmage. He got five from the 30-and-a-half out to the 35-and-a-half. So his first carry of the season. And that will net uh, about five yards. It'll be second down, and we'll call it a long five coming up. 27 career starts now for Javorski Lane. Senior from Lufkin, out of an eye, and it just went to Goodson. Goodson got caught in the backfield. And now they got a flag thrown from deep in the secondary, and he was tackled and dropped at the 30-yard line. So he just lost the gain that we had a moment ago from Lane. Let's see the meaning of the flag. It's going to be a, they don't, uh, it's going to be third down coming up then, huh? See what happens here on this. Well, that flag came from way, way back uh, in the secondary. So let's see what they what they saw. If the Lobos are right, it's against the Aggies. They're pointing at the Aggies and saying, we'll decline it. And an illegal block, a chop block against Texas A&M will be declined. They will take the play and back A&M up here. Um, so it's going to be third down and five. It's a loss of five. Third down and ten coming up. Here we go on a third down. Aggies have uh, one of one so far, but this one needs 10. Have to get it out to the 41-yard line. They're threatening blitz. The Aggies have picked it up. McGee wants to throw from deep in the pocket. That's a catch at the 45, and that will be Terrence McCoy dropped at the 44-yard line. McCoy, a red shirt in 06 and a top 100 recruit out of Midland Lee. Terrence, the sophomore, just caught that one, and the Aggies convert another third into a first. Terrence McCoy coming back to the football, able to move away from the defender to make this first down possible. That went 15 yards, so the Aggies now 2-2 two two on the ground. It goes to Lane, and uh, Javorski gets out to near midfield. He just got a chunk of change worth five yards there. Second down, five coming up. Tackle made by Clinton McPeak. So a couple of carries now here for Lane in the ball game. Here is second down, and the Ags need five. Empty in the backfield. Screen right side. It's Goodson. Broke a tackle and uh, will bounce off a man. Was he down? They're saying he is down, I think. No, they fumbled not. the ball. I haven't seen a signal from the officials yet. It's A&M's ball. A&M will retain it, and apparently Travis Schneider fell on top of the football and took it away from the Lobo. All right, down to seven seconds. Here's third down. Need about four. Ball at the 49. Here's a throw, and that's a catch, and uh, it's an incomplete pass. That was well, Tannehill. Tannehill caught it. They're saying it was incomplete. He dropped the ball at the 45-yard line, and they have whistled it dead as an incomplete. So... If he hangs on, Dave Tannehill probably has a first down. Even though he stepped back north, it might have given him the 45. But AM does not get the conversion, so now they will putt. Line of scrimmage now is the Lobo 49-yard line. So the Aggies went uh, just two out of two and then missed on that last conversion. Here we go. Punts away. Nice high kick. Have a chance to down this thing. Let's see where it hits. Oh, it's going to take an AM bounce. It's rolling at the five and now killed at the five yard line. Haynes cleared, uh, covered that up at the five. So a nice punt high in the air and it got an Aggie roll. That goes 44 yards and they'll have it first down and 10 now at their own five yard line. Portery, we'll check him as they come up. He was injured uh, in that game against TCU, but he is out there. And they will come out, have a couple of split backs up, court, uh, up close now. Go to two tights and a single setback who's lined up in the backfield. And that man just got it. He's upended in the end zone and then goes across the goal line and falls forward to about the four. 
And the ball that time, Rodney Ferguson, he's six foot, 234, a senior, two letters. Second and 11. Bennett eight tackles. Again, two tights, two flankers, single setback, line of scrimmage, the five. And it's play action by Portery. He's being chased in the end zone, throws. It's a catch at about the nine-yard line, wrapped up as soon as he caught the ball. Texas A&M's Jonathan Haynes will make the tackle. And the uh, ball that time caught by Ferguson. That's a five-yard gain. Now it'll be third down, five coming up for the Lobos. And last week against TCU, uh, they were four out of 15. In a shotgun, Portery. Drops back to his two, steps up, wants to throw. He does. It's a first out at the 20 and out to the 23-yard line. The catch will be made by Roland Bruno. No catches last week and stopped by Alton Dixon. But they will convert on a 13-yard pass out to the 23-yard line. Little, little uh, in route from Bruno. And they're going to play in a hurry with a screen to this side of the field. Got by the first man. Stiff arms the second at the 30. Flag goes down as they go out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Chased out there by Justin McQueen. That goes 11 yards, but now the meaning of the flag. Maybe a hold against the Lobos. Holding. Offense number there five. Ten-yard penalty. Repeat first down. That hold goes against a wide receiver, Daryl Jones, on the screen here to the left side. So they'll back it up. The flag goes down at the 32. Doing a lot of shifting here early. Just brought in Kelly from the Aggie bench on the far side of the field. Quarterback, nope, it's going to be the uh, tailback who had lined up at that quarterback position. That's Rodney Ferguson, and they run him to the 25. We saw that against Penn State a lot in the bowl game down in San Antonio. That carries out to about the 26. So that time, Ferguson lining up like a quarterback in a shotgun, took the snap, went three yards, second down, seven coming, split backs. And Portery is under center. Second down at their 26. They've got to get it out to their 33. They're going to throw a screen. It goes to the right side. The Aggies are converging on it. And it'll be very little gain. About two yards to the 28-yard line. Ball caught that time by Jermaine McQueen, who had three receptions last week. R. Keith Brown and Jordan Peterson will smell that out. And it'll be third down coming up. Got just two on that. Third and six. McQueen comes way out here to the left side. Think about offsides. They will stop things here, and that's going to go against the offense. Illegal procedure will be whistled against the Lobos. So back them up five and bring up a third down and about 11. Trips formation all spread out wide to the left side, open side on the field for New Mexico. In the shotgun. Drops back to the 14. Steps up. Here's a throw, and it is high. And intercepted Texas A&M. We're coming back the other way at the 30. That's Peterson back at the 20. He's going to have a chance to score. He will. Caught it at about the 45-yard line and then took an angle back to his left and just got it into the end zone, did Peterson, and that will be his fourth career interception. Touchdown, Texas A&M. It'll go 48 yards, 7.07 to go here on the first, and the Aggies a 6-0 lead. Peterson's INT. Hey, your, your center fielder did his job. They had three defenders there, but Peterson able to come up with the interception, a poorly thrown ball, able to show his running skills back to the right. Cut back to the left into the end zone. 48-yard touchdown for the Ags. Bradley will hold. Bean will kick the extra point. It's up and it's good. And Texas A&M's got themselves a 7-0 lead on an interception and a return for a touchdown of 48 yards is what we're going to call it right now by Jordan Peterson. Lover, uh, Lover Quinn. Will be one of them. He did not have a return, nor is he listed in their two deep. Solomon had all the kickoff returns last week against TCU. He returned four. Here's the kick. And this one's going to have some depth on it. It'll go into the end zone. They'll take the knee. Solomon will go back, take a knee, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So the Aggies now will watch uh, this possession for New Mexico start at the 20 yard line. Their previous possession at the five. AM's got themselves a 7 0 lead as we play here in the first quarter. They've split a man way out to the right. They've got two here on the left side and run from an eye. And they're going to spread out here to the right side and get about five yards. Paul Baker is from Arlington, Texas, 5'7", 198, a senior, five carries last week, picked up five, and Von Miller was on his back. By the way, that was the first quick six return since Justin Warren's 23-yard interception return for a touchdown against Wyoming back in 2004. Second down five, man goes in motion. That'll be Baker again. 
Porter Reed throws and intercepted again. Texas A&M. That's our Keith, and he gets it back to the 20-yard line. Two picks against Porter Reed on uh, what? That's three plays. Because you had the pick, then you had the uh, the run, and now you exactly. got the pick again. Well, he wanted it in the flat. He had uh, had Baker out in the flat, and he wanted to be threw it right to our Keith. Our Keith was so surprised, but he was able to come up with a catch, and the Aggies are in business first and ten from the twenty yard line. And it'll be an eleven yard return here by our Keith. First down ten. Texas A and M at the twenty. They lead seven nothing. Goes on the ground. The lane lane headbutts a man and makes it to the seventeen yard line. Went over the left side of the line. And picks up three, did Javorski. It's now second down and seven coming up from the 17-yard line of the low the Aggies. Did it come out? AM again out of an eye, and it's going to be a sprint to this side. And here's a stiff arm by Goodson. We got a flag down. I think AM will get called for a uh, either a hole or perhaps a clip as he goes out of bounds at the 15, now the 14-yard line. On a sprint here to the right Holding. side. Offense number four, 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. That hole goes against Texas A&M's Jamie McCoy. So Gerard is now at the quarterback position. He comes out with two tights, two flankers, single setback on second down and about 17. And now he's going to run with the ball. Out of the uh, pocket, he runs down to the 21-yard line. A&M will need now about 11 from the 21. That goes six. So it'll be a third down and 11 coming up. Yeah, Johnson, 6'5", 229, a sophomore, one letter. Caught a pass last week. He's not throwing the ball since last year. He's going to throw here on this down. He will. And it's wide open, and that's a touchdown. And that'll be Jeff Fuller. Caught it and rolled into the end zone about five yards deep. Well, first of all, great protection for Gerard Johnson. He had a lot of time to throw. Jeff Fuller working on that zone coverage. He was wide open in the end zone between the cornerback and the safety. Gerard Johnson with great vision, able to, to spot him, coming open and hit him with a bullet. And it's another touchdown for the Aggies, 21 yards out. I'm going to confirm this in a minute, but I'll tell you something. Here's the extra point. It's up, and it is good. So both of the interceptions will, one went for a touchdown, and then an interception turns into a touchdown with the offense going out there. I have to go back and find last year's statistics. But, uh, Dave, I really think I'm right on I that. I think you're right, too, Dave. I think he threw two completions last year. Both of them went for touchdowns, and he has a one completion here in this game. Talking about Gerard Johnson and a touchdown here. So he's thrown three complete passes, and they have gone for touch. That's correct. Here's the kickoff, and Bean just drove that through the uprights. Got a shotgun. They've got a running back to the left of uh, Portity, and I'll make sure that's him in a moment as we get a better angle on that number. It is. And they'll go on the ground, and they'll pick up Will the Lobos out to about their 25-yard line. That'll go to Rodney Ferguson. Goes five yards, second down, five coming up. Clock just hit 430. First period, Aggies ahead, 14 to nothing. Shotgun running back to the uh, left. Ball almost in the middle of the field, two wides each side. And there was a little confusion, but now a handoff, and it's out to the 40. Out to the who? What a hit by Alton Dixon as they send Ferguson out here to about the 44-yard line. He just stood him up and knocked him down, but not before they pick up a first down on that Ferguson's out there. Dixon and Arkeith Brown. Here's first down and 10th. They're 44. They go on the ground. A little headbutt there as they hit midfield and now across the midfield stripe with an Aggie wrapped up around him. On that play, it will be Paul Freeney from Houston Eisenhower along with Lucas Patterson. And that went seven yards. That'll pick up, uh, that'll leave him second down and three coming back to the line. Again, two wides each side. The open side this time to the right, uh, Fortity, who is their head, uh, their uh, quarterback. And he just gave it to uh, uh, Baker that time. Baker got a carry, goes for the first time. He's going to be right at the point needed near the Aggie 46 yard line. And they break the huddle on third down and a yard. They are one out of two on their thirds. It'll go on the ground, and uh, he's going to have to fight for that one. They're going to give it to him. He got it to the 45. Picked up about two from the 47 to the Aggie 45 yard line. Well, Baker carried the ball that time. He is a senior from Arlington. They go 325, 310, 315, 321, 299 in their offensive front. The five guys out there right now. Here's first down and 10 at the Aggie 45 for the Lobos. Hand off. Good hold. And they'll go all the way. It'll be a touchdown. And that'll be Ferguson. He just went 45 yards. Once he got past the line of scrimmage, there, there was, was nobody there. 45-yard touchdown for Ferguson. That's his longest run of the season. He had a long of 18 last week. And their kicker is James Iho. Uh, Iho was 
No extra points last week as they had only a field goal. And now the extra point up. And it is good. So now 158 to go in the first. And a 14-7 A&M lead. 45-yard run that time. How much time do we have to go? All right, here we go. I'm going to take it, Tom. Okay. Cyrus Gray just returned a kick from about three yards deep in the Aggie end zone. Kickoff, and they ran it back out to the 13-yard line. That went 16. Yeah, let's see where the official spot is at the 13. So a minute 53 to go. And Tom, uh, recap that last drive of the Aggies up here, 14 to 7. You said shoulder sprain, correct, on Stephen McGee? That's what I was told. All right, so he is questionable. And Gerard Johnson has replaced him at the quarterback position. The Aggies just hand off to Goodson. Goodson hits over the right side, or do we have... Uh, That's Gray. Cyrus Gray, 32, and not Goodson, number three. And that'll go about six yards. All right. Moving under center, the single set back. Once more on the ground, Gray gets the carry. He fights for a first down. Going to be mighty close if they give him the 24 and a half. And uh, where is the spot? It'll be a first down. He got the 24 and a half, just shy of the 25. All right, here we go. Texas A&M breaks the huddle. Danny Baker is a tight end out there right now, and he's over on the left side. A&M puts a man in motion. That's McCoy, another tight end. And we just hand off to Gray. Breaks over the left side uh, near the far side hash mark gets to the 29 yard line he picks up four high formation lead back will be Javorski Lane on second down at the Aggie 29 needing the 35 yard line and it's play action here's a throw and that's a catch and that will is they're going to rule it a catch it's yes. Tannehill at the 42 yard line he had to go down to his stomach was able to cradle that ball at the 42 so a completion there. That'll be the first completion that Gerard Johnson has thrown that didn't go for a touchdown. Seven, to you. 7.54, the Aggies, 7.06 time of possession for the Lobos. First down and 10, A&M at their 42-yard line. Gerard Johnson, now the quarterback. McGee, a shoulder sprain. He's going deep. He's got a man, far sideline. He's going to overthrow him at the 20-yard line. That goes incomplete. Uh, I think that was Tannehill. It was. It was down around the 20. Defensively, it was... Glover Quinn. Drew Williamson's out there in the lineup right now for Texas A&M. He's the sophomore, the senior squadsman from South Lake Carroll. Short drop throw this sideline, and that's a catch, and uh, it was Fuller fighting off a defensive back that time, and uh, DeAndre Wright. Fuller caught the ball, came out of his hands, reached out, brought it back in, and the pickup now is to the 47-yard line. That's a good one. And 38 career games. In the shotgun, third down play. It's a quarterback draw, and Johnson is caught around the ankles and dropped after a yard gained. And the play made that time by Blake Lagon. Lagon, a left safety, will drop him after about a one-yard pickup, so A&M now will punt the ball. Bradley, his last kick, 44, was killed at the... Lobo five-yard line. The return men are standing at the 10. It's a low snap. It's controlled. Get a good high spiral. And they're coming up in a fair catch call for, dropped and then picked back up at about the 14-yard line. So their starts now have gone from the 5, the 20, the 20, and this one will go at right at the 15-yard line. And Portier will show an eye formation. They have trips over to the left. They got a split end to the right. There was movement. Uh, the tackle here on this side got a move. That was Byron Bell, the right tackle. So a five-yard mark off here against uh, the Lobos. Penalties now. They have been penalized three times for 20. The Aggies one time for 10. Mexico last week, three for 35. All right, an eye formation. Line of scrimmage now, the 10. It is a first down and 15 on the ground, and A&M is all over that, and they're pushing him back toward the end zone. He's still on his feet, and they're going to spot him down at the seven-yard line. That was a carry by Paul Baker, one of the Texans on this team, a senior. So they lose a couple there. They move it back across the 10 at about the seven-yard line, and that was Michael Bennett who wouldn't give up along with Matt Featherston. All right, they are now second down and 17. They've got to get it out to the 25-yard line. Line of scrimmage is about the seven and a half from the end zone. Portier stepping up. Now he wants to run with the ball. The Aggies close on him as he goes down into the turf at the 11-yard line. Forced out of the pocket. He'd gone back to the end zone. 
And then he runs forward, and when he sees the Ags closing on him, Dave, he goes down at the 11. His career passing of 4,010. Here's third down. And they've set up a screen, and it's a catch, and we got a flag. And they'll stop the play. They had a screen to the right side, and uh, they are going to be caught here probably for offsides or illegal procedure, will the Lobos. Chicken Express always appreciates the customer with fast, friendly service and our best quality food. Come in and cool off with our famous sweet iced tea. Chicken Express, give us a try. You won't be disappointed. Illegal substitution. Defense, 12 men on the field during the substitution process. Mm. Five-yard penalty, still third down. A&M have five men up there on the line of scrimmage, including one of the defense, that linebacker over on the right side. So moving pocket, and it's a draw, and the Aggies are going to stop, and that play made by Matt Featherston, and that's about a two-yard pickup, and that's it, and that'll bring the punt team on for the Lobos. Average of 35-3 in a TCU game. Giving him time, that's a wobbly kick. Here comes Pew up, and he takes it at the Aggie 43. Here comes his return. It's a good one. Stripped up as he crosses midfield, crawls, uh, goes across the 45 to the 43-yard line. How about that one? So Pew, a nice return. I think we're going to get a timeout. We will. But the Aggies have it, the official spot at the 44-yard line on Pew's return. Yes, sir. We're going to be going to Oklahoma State. Here's the play, Tom. Let me get a a quick deal, and you can finish here. Uh, That'll be a handoff. It goes to Goodson. Goodson from the 44 goes to the 41-yard line. Second down coming up. All right, Tom. Yeah, sorry about that. Tell us where the band's going. So Gerard will maintain that quarterback position, comes back to the line of scrimmage, second down and eight with an eye, wants to throw on second down, steps up, thinks about running. Now he won't. He's going to throw it away. Throws it high into the Aggie bench on the far side of the field. Fuller, McCoy, Tannehill in as receivers right now. Texas A&M on third down. In the shot. Coming up the middle. There's a flag down. We're going to get caught for a hole. Johnson's going to run with it. And uh, will be close for a first down as he crosses the 35. Tackle from the backside. uh, Johanneman. Uh, And not enough for a first down. It's going to be a hold against Texas A&M. Got seven on that. And the Aggies would face a fourth down and very short, but they'll bring it back. And they'll mark it off from the 42-yard line. Two out of four on their thirds. A shotgun running back to the right of Gerard Johnson. Two wides there on the left. One man flexed out. Steps up. Going to throw it. He does. As he's wrapped up, it goes to Stevens on that. Bradley Bradley Stevens Stevens caught it and makes his way to the 40-yard line, but not enough for a first down. A&M will come up facing a fourth down. And about uh, 6, 12 out of that. So far today, uh, Brantley, two kicks and a 40.5 average. He's had one they killed at the 5 and one that they had to take a fair catch on at about the 16. Here's the snap. Very high. And this one, I think, is going to go into the end zone. No doubt that it will, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, they hit just hit it, across it just the, the goal line. Yeah, I thought it was going to go a lot deeper than that. But they'll have a touchback and bring it out to the 20. Go ahead, Dave. We're about to start the next play. All right, first down and 10 then at the 20-yard line. It's uh, the Lobos ball. Ags have a 14-7 lead here in the second quarter. Single setback. Going to throw flats, and that man never turned around to look. The receiver on that play was going to be Roland Bruno. He was defended by Brown, and all he was doing was uh, blocking our Keith. So he must not have pass. gotten the audible. Second down at same 10. That stopped the clock, 8.54. Second quarter, Aggies ahead 14 to 7. Come up in a shotgun. They got a trips formation over to the uh, left side, that little pyramid. And, and they had a wide out here on the right. Going to run the quarterback option. Nice pitch there by Portier on the corner. That's going to be a first down across the 30, 35, 37 yard line. Let's see where that out of bounds at the 38 yard line. All the way out to the 38 yard line. First down and 10 time, 8.32. The Aggies ahead 14 to 7. We're playing in the second quarter. Lobos the ball, single set back. They broke the eye man in motion. And they go on the ground. And that's going to be read well by Michael Bennett, the carry by the tailback, Rodney Ferguson. He got back to the line of scrimmage, and Bennett jumped on him and smashed him into the turf. Rounds out there Dixon, Peterson, and Jordan Pugh. That's secondary for Texas AM. Williams, Lewis, and Haynes are the uh, Screen, wobbly pass. Got a flag here. Yeah, Bennett held the receiver. They were trying to get it to Baker out in the flat, and Bennett held on to him. Oh, he called it a face mask. I thought he had him by the jersey. Yeah, first down. Bennett gets whistled there in the backfield. They were setting up a screen to the right that was going to go to Paul Baker. First down. That will give New Mexico seven of them. The Aggies have five. 
And it's on the ground. It goes to Baker. Turns the corner left side across the 45 to the 43-yard line. Tackle made by Cyril Obazor. Five uh, tackles last week. He is a senior from Pearland. Second down and about seven. They've got to get to the Aggie 37-yard line. They're going to throw out here in the screen. So this side, the Ags all over that. It's caught behind the line and making the play that time. Jordan Q. Ball caught by Jermaine McQueen on a so that'll be a screen here to the right side. They drop him all the way back to the Aggie 49. That's a loss of five. And here they come to the line of scrimmage. They're two out of four on their third downs. They've got to get it to the Aggie 37. Deep pocket pressure. They're chasing him. He's going to throw it. They throw it into the Aggie bench here on the uh, Lobo bench here on the sideline. And it'll bring a fourth down at same 12. And he is standing right now at the nine-yard line. Has one return for 13 yards. Line of scrimmage, the Aggie 49. Snap a little bit to his left. Good high kick. Not going to be that deep, and we're going to retreat from that thing. And uh, they have a member of their punt team come up and make a catch at the seven-yard line. Now, McGee, again, has left the game with a shoulder sprain, and we don't know if he's going to re-enter or not. Single setback is Javorski Lane. He just got the ball. He makes maybe the line of scrimmage the seven. Only man back there. And it'll bring up a second down that same ten. So they were trying to make a change there on the offensive uh, in the offensive eleven. High formation. Gerard wants to throw. He will. That's a catch. That's Tannehill to the twenty. He's to the twenty-five. They run him into the sideline. First down. Texas A&M and out of bounds. He goes at the twenty-nine yard line. Twenty-eight and a half. Tannehill. Hill now two for thirty-five. I'm told that McGee has a sling on his uh, arm on the sideline. It's a quarterback draw. That's uh, Johnson going. He's caught from the backside. He just got close to a first down. I think he got it. With a man hanging on to his jersey, he's dragging that guy north. That was uh, Carmen Messina, and close for a first down right at the point needed. They may have to bring the sticks out. They will. All right, here's first down and 10, the Aggies. High formation. Gerard Johnson now quarterbacking the team. Short drop throws, catch. That'll be a five-yard pickup. Ball caught over there is going to be Terrence McCoy. McCoy gets his second reception. Suddenly he's starting to show up as one of our receivers. Got five there. Second down, five coming up. 4.35 to go. Single setback, and I say that and they've got uh, Javorski Lane flexed out to the right side. It's a heavy eye. They put McCoy in motion. And now give the ball to Cyrus Gray. Looking to bounce outside. He broke a tackle. That second man won't give up. And he got maybe a half yard. So third down coming up. That was Jerome Jenkins, a sophomore from Illinois. They've got, by the way, Dave, 23 Texans on this New Mexico team. And they'll go empty now. Three wides on the left, two on the right. Open side to the right. Line of scrimmage is the Aggie 45 and a half. Outside pressure. Steps up. Thinking about running. He will. He's got a first down. Dives across the 50. Goes to the 47. First down and 10. The Aggies ahead 14 to 7. Moving the ball now in Lobo territory. Deep throw going far sideline. And uh, in and out of the hands of Morrow inside the 10. Incomplete pass. Went deep right sideline. Defended that time by Jerome Jenkins. And they were there step for step. Stopping the 259 to go. 14 to 7 is the score in the second quarter. The Aggies lead. Second down, same 10. Shotgun Cyrus Gray to the right here. And Gray just got the ball, hits the line of scrimmage, and got two to the 45-yard line. Not there as they try the middle that time. Aggies three out of six on their thirds, empty in the backfield, three wides right, two on the left. Straight drop, sets his pocket, throws, and he was hit, and a flag goes Ooh. down. That may be a late hit. I think it's going to be. This was meant to be the check down to Goodson, and Goodson didn't look for the ball. That's who Gerard was trying to get it to, but I think this is going to be a 15-yarder for the Aggies. The yep. Defense number 30, contact to the helmet. 15-yard penalty. Automatic oh, contact down. to the helmet. That's the new rule. Okay, you hit the helmet, and, buddy, you're in trouble. Fans don't understand that, but that is the rule. You can't go helmet to helmet trying to protect those unprotected guys in an eye formation. And they're saying A&M moved. Did they indeed move on the left yes. side, right side of our line? It is. Five-yard mark off against A&M. Well, if that was beneficial to the Aggies, but I don't agree with that rule, and you and I have discussed this many times. And then what happens here today and also what happens with Miami as they play Florida. All right, first down and 15, the Aggies after a timeout. Single setback is Goodson. Gerard Johnson. Maybe bringing the house here. We picked it up. Johnson rolling right, looking. Now he's looking back to the other side. He will throw the ball, 
And he throws it away. Hit as he's going down now. And the ball went incomplete on the far sideline. There was really nobody close to it, so the fans getting on that. It's an offset eye, and it's a light eye for Texas A&M. And there it goes to Goodson. Closed on him. Somebody had him for a moment. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Slowed up. And then dropped by Philip Harrison, a uh, defensive right end. Well, Goodson's still down. So he is hurt, and a member of their training staff has walked out there. And now our training staff is out uh, and visiting with him as well. Shotgun. Three wides right, two on the left. Fuller way out here on this side, along with Tannehill. Bringing up the middle. Here's a throw, and that's going to go to Tannehill. That's a first down, and he's going to tightrope for a moment across the 20, and they will spot him out across the 15 now at the 14-yard line. Single setback, tight end right. And it goes to Javorski, and he fights for the 10, falls across the 10 to about the 9-and-a-half-yard line. Now you got one of their defensive backs who is upset with one of the Aggie linemen saying, he hit me late. Are you going to do something about it? Cyrus Gray now is in at the tailback. Javorski Lane is the fullback. Motion coming back to this side with Terrence McCoy. Gerard under some pressure, dancing around, still dancing, and now will throw, and he throws away at the goal line. He was going down as he dumps that ball off at the goal line. It goes incomplete. And Johnson now is 7 of 12 and 101 yards throwing the ball. Shotgun, two wides, three wides right, two to the left. There's the snap, a little bit low. Lofton one, going end zone. The Aggies fighting for it. He did he it. catch the ball? He did. That's Fuller. Leaps up, brought it down, touchdown, took it away from the defensive back down there on that side. Using and, that height, Dave, that's, that's Jeff Fuller on the fade route, and he went over the cornerback. Right, the guy with all the experience. What a great throw and a great catch. Ten yards for the touchdown, and the Aggies have scored here in the second quarter to make it 20-7 to with the point to come. 51 seconds to go. How about that? Boy, what is Gerard now? He is 8 of 13, 111 yards, and two touchdowns on his eight completions. The extra point is up, and it's through and true. And that was Richie Bean again. So now the Aggies up 21 to 7, and these New Mexico fans are really unhappy. And uh, they've not been listed in there two deep or three deep or four deep on kickoff return. They're not going to have a chance to return that anyway. That's a three-pointer. Yeah, he did. He's kicked it right through the uprights. And from the 35, he put that one through the uprights and has uh, somebody under his left shoulder. Here we go. First down and 10 at their 20-yard line. It's a screen, and the Aggies are all over that. Caught behind the line. Drop now at the 19-yard line. Ball was caught by Ferguson. First man to get to him was Jonathan Hayes, but uh, Haynes, but the Aggies had that well covered. That's a loss of a yard, second down, and now about 11. All right, here they go. In a shotgun, there's the snap. Portatee throws, and he skipped that one into the turf right in front of the intended receiver, Bryant Williams, at about the 20-yard line. Third down, still about 10, and they go on the ground. And uh, bringing it out here to this side, there's five, there's six, there's 10, there's about 11. Time, 12, 10, now down to nine. First down pick up that time out to about the 31-yard line. Carried by Ferguson. That went 12 yards. We're bringing that to our attention. Bennett is out there. That did not. Uh, yeah, did get a first down. The down marker saying four. But here's a handoff up the middle. They go to Ferguson. And that's going to run it out here, Dave, in this first half. And we'll go to halftime. But what a half for the Aggies. Well, defense stepped up and did a great job. They only gave up one touchdown while setting up two, scoring one of those themselves. And then a great drive. 14 plays there at the end of the half to make this a 21-7 game. A good first half for the Aggies. And it will kick off to start the second half. 21-7, the Aggies lead. 30 minutes worth the ball to go. Sidewinder is going to hit at the 10. Takes a wicked hop, picked up at the 2 by Solomon. Here comes his return back to the... 21 yard line trying to bounce it outside out of the 22 fumble the, that was a helmet <laughs> he fumbled the helmet <laughs> yeah. somebody started to dive on that for a and it may have been uh, it was nick lamantine he started to jump on top of that helmet that would hurt 21 on the return We've got williams and hernandez as their receivers three on the right and a running back and there was a miscommunication there and dropped back at the 20 yard line is rodney ferguson on his first 
carry of the second half. He just took a minus four, and that was Michael Bennett with his fifth tackle of the game. Cyril Oberzor is out there right now for Texas A&M. He's on the end here on this side, along with uh, Eddie Brown still in there. He's going to throw a screen. It goes to the right side. It's good yardage. Got the uh, loss back. Penalty goes down, and it's going to be a hold, I think, against uh, the Lobos. The play carried out to the 25 from the 20. Holding call. Uh, against New Mexico. One of their penalties in the first half, four for 35. The Aggies were five for 46. That went five yards on that pass that time to Jermaine Qu- uh, McQueen. All right, third down, nine. In the first half, they were three out of six. New Mexico on their thirds. Shotgun. Half back to his left, three wides on the left. Little pyramid. On the ground it goes, and the Aggies were all over that. That was a handoff to Ferguson, the first man to hit him. Michael Bennett again for AM. Got about two yards on that, and that's it. And fourth down coming up. We've got Pugh standing at the Aggie 30. Line of scrimmage is the Lobo 27 and a half yard line. Good snap. Outside pressure. Punts away. Pugh backing up. Takes it at the 21. He just lost the football, and it is recovered. Oh, my God. It was a touch and goes out of bounds. Pugh had it go through his hands, out of bounds. Last touch to AM, or no, excuse me, the Lobos. And at the 14, they will take over. Aggies are uh, New Mexico, will have it on the 14, first and 10. Hernandez goes way out to the right side, slot right, two halfbacks on the ground. Ferguson, and now oh, about is that Michael Bennett yes. again comes crashing through and dropped him back at the 18 yard line threw his body at his ankles, and he upended him right there. A loss on the play of four. It'll be second down, 14 coming up. The official spot at the 19-yard line. Shotgun again. We're going with that. That's Porty, and now he's going to move up, and he'll move up under center. Let's see if he drops back. He will. Goes back to the shotgun. He'll take the snap standing at the Aggie 24. Line of scrimmage, the 19. Here's the snap. Here's the pitch. They're going left. A&M trying to converge on that. Gets it back across the 15 to the 12-yard line. It's seven on their third downs. Again, the four-yard line needed for a first down. They're at the Aggie 11. There's the snap. It's going to be an option going back to the right side, up ended by R. Keith Brown at the 10-yard line was Rodney Ferguson. So now we'll need six at the 10 on fourth down. And apparently they'll try a field goal. From the 17, Tom, it will be a 27-yard effort back to the left. Pretty good angle to the left, like you say. James Aho, the freshman, with the kick, and he just got it in. I mean, that thing just got in by about an inch. It uh, got by the right upright. But they score nonetheless, and the score now 21-10. 11.07 now left to play in the third quarter. Field goal drive from you. Here we go. They're kicking off the Lobos. Aggies lead 21-10. Gray, two yards deep. They've been signaled to come out with it. And he gets out to the 15-yard line. So Gray brings it out to the uh, 15. The Aggies have it there. Recap on the field goal drive. Here's Tom Turbyville. All right. Made a switch right there on the uh, offensive formation. Sent a guy to the bench as we're... Just before we broke the huddle at the line, the 15. And uh, it goes to Gray, hits off the first man, and that guy should have stopped him. He did not. Bounced off carries for five to the 20. They try the middle. Same five in the offensive line. Schneider, Grimes, Matthews, Ike, and Schumard for AM. Ball's been snapped, and it's going to go to Javorski. Man on his back carries that guy with him, plus another man to the 22. Got to third down three coming up at the 22-yard line. The Aggies need to net their 25 or better for a first down. Here we go, third down and three. Single setback. Johnson all the way back to the five. Throws it up in the air. And it comes way to this side of the field. Hit as he is throwing the ball, and it went wobbling up here and came way here, almost went into the stands behind the Lobo bench. They have two return men back here, standing at the 35-yard line. Ian Clark is one of them. We'll try to get it. Solomon, I think, the other. High snap. We got a flag. Now let's go 10 seconds right now for station identification. This is Texas Aggie football. This time, Bradley will stand at the two for the snap from center. And that is Corey Gibas. Wobbly kick. 
Back and up. All the way back to the 36. Here comes the return by Clark. It's at the 45. Broke a tackle. Into the sideline he goes. And where do they spot him out? Oh, nice return to the Aggie 32-yard line. And Brantley was over there. They all push him into the bench. That was Ian Clark. First down and 10. Lobos, the Aggie 32-yard line. In the shotgun. Portati drops back. He's under pressure. Forced out of the pocket. Wants to run with it. Fell down. Fumbled the ball. Lobos got it back at the 22-yard line. A punt return back to the AM 32 by Clark to set this possession up for him. On a low kick by Brantley. First down and 10. On a draw. That will... Go to the reserve running back, and there was a fumble over there. And who got that thing? Aggies are saying they have it. Baker was the man that was carrying the ball. Looked like he dropped it. A&M signaling it's theirs. Some of the Lobos now saying it's theirs. And it's Texas A&M's ball. Here we go. Under center, single setback for Texas A&M will be Cyrus Gray. And the handoff. That man got it. Looking for a hole, picks his way to the 29-yard line, just got five. Gray got the carry. I really like the way they're running right at this Lobo defense. They're just going on the power, and the running back's able to pick a hole and get good yardage. Terrence McCoy going in motion to this side, a draw again, and oh, stop behind that the time. line. That Cyrus Gray stood up and pushed backward by Herbert Felder, a senior from uh, Florida. And a loss back to the Aggie 26-yard line. Aggies, 6 out of 10 on their third downs. Gerard's got it. Outside pressure. He will throw Tannehill up in the air. Off his hands. Good defense. He played by Solomon. Incomplete. Tannehill out about the 40. Looked like he was going to be able to bring it in, but Solomon made an excellent play on that. Line of scrimmage is the 26. A&M's into the field. A little high. We got another flag. We get another delay here? Yes. Delay a game. That's the second in a row that the, where the Aggies have gotten a delay of game on the punt team. They're going to have to get the snap off faster. AM now 7 for 57. Big difference this week from last week in penalties. Brantley, plenty of time. Almost got a little block there. They're backpedaling, and they'll go all the way back to the 26. Solomon back to the 35. And from the backside, he is ridden into the turf there. By Texas A&M's Trent, uh, Trent Hunter. So that will be spotted at the 39-yard line, low both side of the 50. 53-yard kick that time, Dave, and a 13-yard return. It's down in 10, uh, New Mexico at their 39-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. And there's a little extra effort there across the 40 to the 43-yard line. It carried by Rodney Ferguson. And goes just four yards that time. Ferguson, his 16th career 100-plus yard day. Second down, the ball now at the Lobo 43-yard line. And a shotgun turns and throws it to this side. It's a screen, and it's a completion. They go across the 50 to the Aggie 49 first down. Chris Hernandez, who had three catches last week, will end up catching that one, and that is his first catch of the day. That went seven yards, a first down right at the 50 is the official spot. They have motion to tie it in. Single set back. That guy just got it. Broke out of there. 45-40. And now into the sideline at the 35-yard line. And that is Rodney Ferguson again. Ferguson finally brought down by Jordan Pugh, but he gets 15 on that one. They got a, a strange little setup here. They got a guy way back here on the right side. And uh, now the ball has just been snapped. We've got a flag down, and somebody on an up back got that thing at the 35-yard line, and now a flag goes down after all said and done as they tried a little razzmatazz play. They had one man 10 yards back at about the 45-yard line, had another guy that looked like he was going to start out of the blocks in a track meet who was facing the far side of the field with his back to their bench. All right, first down then and 20 as the balls move back to the Aggie 45-yard line. Porta T will take the snap at the 50-yard uh, line. They keep it on the ground and uh, will get about three from the 45 to the 43-yard line, about two. So it's going to be second down now and 18. Clock, 5:20. Third quarter, A&M leads 21 to 10 over New Mexico. Shotgun, three wides right. Low snap, has it, screen, going right side. That'll be Ferguson looking for a hole, has one for a moment, develops that across the 35 to the 34. That's not a first down. That'll pick up about nine yards. 
Uh, the Aggies coming with a lot of pressure that time. Running they... back to the left of Portati, the Lobo quarterback who's gone the distance today. Sets up at the 40-yard line, five yards behind the line. He wants to throw. Aggies had pressure coming up from Obazor, throwing uh, out of bounds. And incomplete. That went down around the 20-yard line. That was way out of bounds. Sarkeet Brown was back there, but no chance at all as it just simply goes incomplete. He tries to pooch this thing. Three for a 44-7 average by Adam Miller. Very high in the air. They're going down there, and uh, that is knocked down at the one-yard line. Goodness gracious. Great play by Frankie Solomon. Very high in the air. Reached up, got it at the one-yard line, a 34-yard kick. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. High formation from the one. Terrence McCoy goes in motion and goes back and resets himself. We had a delay of game. Nope. They called a false start. They were trying to get him to jump off sides. He went with a long count. And what, they're figuring, what they're figuring is, Dave, that even if they get a penalty, only about a half a yard. Yeah. It doesn't really hurt them. And if they can get them to jump off sides, it picks up five the other way. First down, still about 10. That was about a half yard mark off. Long snap count again by Gerard Johnson. Still counting. They jumped into the uh, he line. Got him. I he think got he him. did. Jumped into the center. Looks like it was Wesley Beck, the nose tackle from Houston, Texas. Yep. Same play, that? Dave. That <laughs> once again, when you're on the half-yard line, how much can they penalize you? All right, a little breathing room. First down and five at the Aggie five. On the ground, that is Goodson to the eight. Second down and about three coming up. He picked up two there to about the eight-yard line, and they need to about the 11, Dave, for a first down. All right, 319 on the clock as a comes to the line on second down and a long yeah, long two. He's trying to find the outside, and that is Goodson. He's going to be close for a first down. Started wide left and cut it back to his right and jumped across the 10. Needed about the 11, and I think they've already given it. They have they a first it. down, Texas A&M, at the 11 and a half. We just got caught. The, uh, going to get a delay a game. So mismanaged the 42nd uh, clock that time, or did we get a timeout called? And we're out of timeouts. We got a timeout, and we're out of timeouts for the entire fourth quarter with 2.38. And I can tell you that uh, if, if Mike Sherman carries a clipboard, he's going to bite right through that thing <laughs> over there. All right, Frank Avery is in the lineup now as a tight end, and they just put him in motion going right to left. Got to split in in that direction. Gerard wants to throw, forced out of the pocket. Now is elected to run with it, looking for a corner block. Lowers his head and goes all the way out to the 18-yard line. Be a pickup of about six. Be second down and four coming up. So uh, out to the 18 goes Gerard. Second down, saying four on the scoreboard. It's a little less than that. A pitch left, dropped by Cyrus Gray, picked up, gets back to the 20-yard line. Got a yard, dropped it, picked it up, and then started heading due south. But only a yard, so now a third down. Aggies on thirds today, six out of 11. Need two, need the 22. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six men up on the line of scrimmage. Wants to throw, plenty of time, looking, still looking. And now out of a grasp, running to the sideline, throws it. And he was he out of bounds or not? He threw the ball as he hit the... And now one of the officials visiting, the linesman visiting with the referee here at the 10-yard line. Did he get rid of the ball before he went out of bounds? Brantley has trotted out there. Question about the line of scrimmage. Flag. Potential grounding. Grounding. Offense. The ball did not make it back to the line of scrimmage. The ball was placed at the line of spot of the foul. Lost it down. Fourth down. Brantley will kick this away from his end zone and his punts today. He's gone five for 44. They got middle pressure. Good sailor backing up and back at the 29 yard line, closing on him. Missed tackle, closing again, missed tackle, closing again, another missed tackle. Cuts back and across the 40 to the 37 yard line. About three or four missed tackles as they had that return on. Anthony Lewis finally brought him down. 
But half of that, more than half, erased on the return of 33. First down and 10 at the Aggie 37-yard line. 47 seconds to go in the third. Screen right side. Ags closing on it. They get a little yardage out of that across the 35 to the 33-yard line. Pick up of about five. That'll go, well, let's say in four now, so it'll be second down, six coming up. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Shotgun again for Porta T. He's got three wides here on the left. Ferguson just got the ball, or did Porta T keep that thing? Now Ferguson got it. Yep, he did, and he carries from the, well, he got back to the line of scrimmage. That was it. Tackle made by Garrick Williams, freshman redshirt. All right, third down, five. Ball at the Aggie, 33. Lobos the ball, first play, fourth quarter. He just fumbled the snap from center, and Bennett's picked it up. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. Oh, he stepped and out. And he stepped out at the 21-yard line. But a huge play. Third and five. Lobos going toward the Aggie end zone, and they fumble it, fumble the snap. Bennett picks it up, and he'll take it down all the way to the 22-yard line in Lobo territory. The Aggies will take it over there first and 10. All right, first down and 10. The Aggies fumble by the Lobos at the 22 Lobo territory. It goes to Javorski. Somebody's got him by the jersey. The line of scrimmage, maybe a half-yard lane. Lane just got his seventh carry. Give him 20 yards now. I go with a uh, shotgun and empty in the backfield for Gerard Johnson, who replaced Stephen McGee in the first half. Drops back, throws, and we're going to get a... We're going to get flag back well, on Tannehill. In the second. I thought that was a penalty there, but uh, they've got it on Tannehill. It'll be a hold. And that'll be an automatic first down. So hold against the Lobos. The man being held was Tannehill. The man that was doing the holding, is it Frankie Solomon that have you have that? Holding, 29. 29, it was Blake Lagon who was holding. So mark it off, an automatic first down for the Aggies. You got Gray over here, empty in the backfield. They're bringing the house. There's a throw, and that is in and out of the hands of Tannehill at the four-yard line. Second down, 10 coming up. Knocked away on a nice defensive play by Glover Quinn. Uh, quick Summit, slant. Summit, Mississippi. Quick slant, well thrown. It looked like uh, Tannehill was going to be able to control this, but Glover Quinn able to get it out at the last minute. Terrence McCoy, Kenny Brown's out there now as a receiver. And in the shotgun, it goes to Cyrus Gray across the 10, maybe the 8. Started left, cut it back to his right, and wrapped up by Frankie Solomon. Down 7. Ball at the about the 9-yard line. Wanting to throw, will, and it is a catch, and that's Jamie, Jamie McCoy. McCoy. Boy, what a nice job of touchdown. Lo- what a nice job of locating him. A uh, nine-yard gain for the touchdown, but uh, he came came clean out to the right side in the right flat in the end zone, and what a bullet we got from uh, Gerard Johnson as uh, Jamie McCoy caught it on the ground, and it's a touchdown for your Aggies. Now we get the extra point here by uh, Richie Bean. It is on its way. Somebody almost got a hand on that thing with Brantley holding it is up, and it is good. And now with 13-20 remaining in the game, playing in the fourth quarter, the Aggies have just made it a 28-10 lead. The scoring play, Gerard Johnson to Jamie McCoy. Here's the kickoff, Dave. All right, here's Bean. And it's going to be about three yards deep. They're going to bring it out to the 10, to the 15. He's out to the 20. That's Solomon to the 22-yard line. So Frankie Solomon on that return. And a shotgun running back to his right line of scrimmage. There, 22, New Mexico. Time to throw. Will, Aggies, uh, an ankle tackle is missed. But now the guy who missed the ankle tackles that pew gets up and chases him down after somebody else slowed him down, and he made the tackle at the 20. That's a loss of two. He's got uh, Baker, I think, back there with him right now as a halfback to the uh, right side. And he threw it low, and it goes in complete off the hands of the intended receiver. That's Jamie, or rather, Jermaine McQueen. Incomplete. Third down coming up. Third down on their thirds. New Mexico, three out of ten. We've got to get it out to the 32-yard line. Need 12. Empty in the backfield. The snap steps up. Looking to throw. He will. And it is... A great timing play by Jordan yes. Peterson on the intended receiver that time. Chris Hernandez, ball arrived, Peterson arrived, Peterson separated receiver from football. 
Line of scrimmage again, the 20. Little middle pressure, wobbly kick. Pume running over, and he has it at the 37, back to the 45. He's at the 50 on the sideline. And <laughs> he wouldn't Aggie go down. Bench. And somebody goes into the bench, and somebody over there was just taken down. Who got knocked down over there? Rod Johnson now has replaced Stephen McGee. McGee left and in the first half had a sling on his right arm, but that sling has come off in the second half. But Johnson stays out there as a sprained arm, a sprained shoulder is what we were told. Handoff goes to Bradley Stevens, hits the 40, and there's about one, two, three, four, five guys led by their Lobo player, Clint McPeak. And a yard pickup, it'll be second down nine. I formation. Stevens backed up here by Gerard Johnson. And that guy got it. Stevens. Good a hole. 30. Man on his back. Lost the football. I think the Aggies, Aggies got it. it back. Lost it when he hit the 25 and bowled back to the 26. AM a fumble recovery. Good hole opened up for the left side, and Stevens scampered through it. Did a great job until Jaworski. they stripped him. And uh, he. Uh, was stripped of the football, and Javorski Lane able to pick it up. That's a 14-yard gain. Good ground game and uh, time management here, clock management. Here's a first down and 10. Pumps once, under pressure, dropped and sacked back at the 35-yard line. Down goes Gerard Johnson, led there by Jake Bowe, senior from Albuquerque. Shotgun for Gerard Johnson. Empty back there, under pressure, throws high over the head of Bradley Stevens, the intended receiver at about the 28-yard line. And there was a man closing on him in a hurry. So we've got two bunched up close on the right, one wide on the left. And Goodson in the backfield. Screen, Goodson. Got a corner block at the 30. Going to be wrapped up. He will get back to the 26-yard line. A&M will face a fourth down and 10 at the 26. We'll go for it here on fourth down. Rather than attempt what would be uh, not a 40-yard field goal. Here is from the backside as he rolls this way and tackle for a loss. So give it up now at the 32-yard line. Give the ball back to New Mexico. I came a with loss the, of five. I there are a ton of Aggies up there watching the game from underneath the shade of that tree. First down and 10 for the uh, Lobos now at their 32. They throw on first down. That'll be a catch by Hernandez and tackled by Alton Dixon. That's a pickup of about five. So second and five coming up. And Lobos go without a huddle right back to the line. Second down action at about six. Here's a throw and it's a catch. And two Aggies are all over that. It'll be a pickup to the 40. That picked up three. They'll face third down and two when they come back to the line of that ball was caught by Bryant Williams and the tackle made by Garrett Williams and also Jordan Pugh Ags ahead 28 to 10 on third downs today they're three out of 11 on the grounds and nice hole 50 across the 45 to the 43 yard line goes Paul Baker Baker's had a good day today, as has Rodney Ferguson. That went 17 yards on that run. All right, here we go. First down and 10 at the 42. They're in A&M territory. Time, 8.25. Ags ahead, 28 to 10. Porter T pumps once. Now he pumps again, being chased from the backside by Gungley. He's going to throw that one out of bounds. Well, Gungley thought he had himself a rolling sack that time as he's chasing Porter T to the far sideline toward the A&M bench. Second down. 10. Clock stopped at 8.17 on the incomplete by Portati. Drops straight back, pumps once, throws a catch here by Hernandez. The Aggies close on him. And they knock him down at the 35-yard line. The tackle made by Kellen Hurd, and then he hammered Arkeet Brown and sent him rolling down the field. There's the snap. It's on the ground. It's Baker again at the 30, and across the 30 to the 28-yard line. Had him stopped. Down. Had, had, well. Again, right now, New Mexico trailing here by 18, choosing to go. No huddle. Three wides left, one on the right, half back to his right. Porta T, backside pressure, steps up, sacked out the yard line, loses a yard. Line of scrimmage was the 29. Now you're looking at a second down and 11 at the Aggie 30. Time now, 7.15. Ags go with a uh, three-man front here in uh, this defensive formation. Actually, a couple of guys standing up. Now one went down. That was Bennett. Straight drop, Portati throws, and it's incomplete. Closest guy to that right there was Alton Dixon. In, uh, he was in the end zone, and he was hit as he's getting rid of the ball. Third down at the Aggie 30, needing the 19. Third and 11. Shotgun. Has the snap, sets his pocket, throws a catch at the 20. 
He's at the uh, 10, upended at the 9-yard line. Ball caught by Bryant Williams. It'll be first and goal on a 21-yard catch. First and goal. Second catch for Williams today at the 9 now. Left hash mark in the shotgun. Snap, steps up, going to run at the 5. Slides down when he gets to the 5-yard line. Slides down and... uh, Picks up about four. Second and goal at the five. They've got two men stacked on the right, two on the left. And they're going to get a touchdown. That goes to Baker. Baker, a handoff, looking left and back to his right. And then stepped in. Nobody close to him. He runs that in from the five-yard line, about the five and a half. There goes Hernandez out to the left side. He's out there by himself. They have a slot man on the left side. they got two wide right and a half back to the left of Portati. Now they move that man on the left over to the right, so they have one man over there. Here's a throw, and it is intercepted, intercepted by Jordan Pugh in the end zone, and the try for two is no good. So the Aggies will lead here 28-16. to 16. And let's see how he's going to do this. They're going to try to get an onside kick here. Now they're moving those five on this side to the other side. They're going to turn. They're going to kick the ball back to the other side of the field. And the Aggies have it. Jumping up, bringing it down at about the uh, Lobo 45-yard line was Damari A. Thompson, a reserve linebacker. So he jumped up. He got it. And Davey did the right thing. As soon as he got that ball, he went right down. 5.53 to go in the game. 28-16, to Texas A&M. And I behind Gerard Johnson, who replaced Stephen McGee in the first half. McGee with a shoulder sprain. Bradley Stevens. Right side across the 45 to the 42. Gets three yards, does Bradley Stevens. Goes three on that. And Stevens now will carry three times today for 19 yards. Here's second down, seven, the Aggies. Motion, Terrence McCoy going right to left. And I think that's going to go against as we hand off here to Stevens, and he'll go to the 37. I think that may go against it. It is. It's going to be offside. Yep. So Aggies may off. decline that one. Well, let's see. A five-yard yeah. penalty. Yeah, you take the down. I, yeah, you get down over. I, yeah, I think, I think you take the penalty. Yeah, they will. All right, second down and a couple. Offset eye, two tights. Terrence McGoy goes in motion back to the right side. There it goes to Bradley Stevens. He has a first down across the 35 to the 34 and a half yard line. Another carry for Stevens and the Aggies and convert to a first down. Picks up three. All right, first down and 10. Pierre Brown's in the lineup. He's flexed out there to the right side again. Two tight ends. Here's Bradley Stevens one more time. He's caught behind the line, and he's dropped back at the 36 and a half yard line. So now AM will find a second down, and they need about 12. All right, here's second down now at about 12. AM. Offset eye again. Goes to Bradley Stevens. He gets back to the 35, which was the line of scrimmage on this first and 10 set of downs. And now I think they're going to use a timeout. They'll kill it right there. All right, they've got two timeouts remaining. New Mexico, A&M will face third down and 10. Third down and 10. Excuse me, Texas A&M and I formation. Jeff Fuller's in there right now. There's Bradley Stevens. Broke it out and all of a sudden caught from the backside at the 31-yard line. Oh, that that was close. Ankle tackle, and he had broken back to the left side. Looked like he was going to bust it loose for First down. Bradley will take the snap standing at the Aggie 49-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the 36. They may be coming hard. And they were, but he got it away. And they've kicked it off to this side of the field. It's going to hit at the 5, take a back, and it'll backspin back toward the 10 and killed at the 9-yard line. And that may have been Gibbs that time. It was. Two wides, one behind the other on each side of the ball. Here's a screen. That's Hernandez at the 10, at the 15, at the 18-yard line. Hernandez screen to the right side. Aggies will smell that out. And the clock now stopped at 248. That picked up 11 yards. They'll move the uh, chains. a a 28-16 lead over New Mexico. Florida T has gone the distance today at quarterback for the Lobos. Wants to throw, steps up. Michael Bennett had a hand on him. He's running with a football. He goes to the sideline, steps out shy of the first down at the 29-yard line. And they put the two receivers on each side, one behind the other. Florida T running back to his right. Ash Mark to the right side. Steps up, wants to throw. Now he is just complete off the fingertips of Rodney Ferguson. Probably would have picked up pretty good yardage had he elected to run. 2.14 remaining in the game. Aggies ahead 28-16. to 
third down, very short, New Mexico. Snapped it, steps up, throws, a catch at the 34, and down at the 34-yard line. Ball caught by Bryant Williams. First down and 10, our Keith got up and ran off the field. They look left, now throw back to the right to Hernandez at the 40, at the 45, out to the 47. He got a first down on a screen to the right side. A quick look, Dave, to the left, and then throw back to the right. That goes 11 yards. Well, they've used the screen an awful lot today, and uh, it's been successful. Uh, they're going to use, they're, instead of using a timeout, they're going to use a, a clock play and just snap the ball and throw it down, and it'll bring up second and 10. I think Bennett's out of this lineup right now. Gungley's also in the three-man front. Ag's coming from the defensive right side. Nice catch on the sideline across the 40, and a catch made by McQueen of the Lobos at the Aggie 36-yard line and a first down. Clock a minute 52, went out of bounds when he caught the ball, so that stopped it. First and 10 at the Aggie 36-yard line. Portity throws, and a catch here by Baker. And he's across the 30 to the 28-yard line. Misses a first down by a couple. Now down to a minute 40. Come back to me. All right, we've gone back to play here in Portati. They did not take a full timeout. It's going to run. He's trying to get to the sideline. He does. And a flag's going to go down. There's going to be a block from the back against one of the Lobos where they went out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Portati ran to the sideline, picked up a first down. But a flag at the point of the tackle. Oh, yeah, that, I just saw it Yep, on the replay. That'll move him back 15. As they come back to the line on a second down at the Aggie 30. Portati, time to throw, forced out of the pocket, running to this side, throws, and it's incomplete on the sideline at about the 23-yard line, intended for McQueen of New Mexico. Here we go on a third down play on their thirds today. They're 7 of 15, has a snap, sets his pocket, throws the football. That's Hernandez, has a first down. Aggies will stop him at the 21-yard line. A minute 21 to go. They've got one timeout remaining. That was a nine-yard pass to Chris Hernandez. Three last week. And right now they are showing that he has six for 51. And they just downed it again on first down, so it'll be second and 10 when they come back to set up here uh, at the Aggie 21-yard line. Here we go. It's a second down and 10 after they threw the ball into the turf. Wants to throw. He does, and it's a catch. And it goes across the 15 to the 13. That's Bryant Williams. That's not enough for a first down. Minute seven, minute six. That went eight yards. Right back to the line. They show those two trips, the two singles up on the line. There's a throw. It's in and out of the hands of the intended receiver at about the seven-yard line. That was intended for McQueen. And on the defense that time, it was Jordan Pugh, the Aggie cornerback, on the right side. Three wides left. That's the open side. Drops back, wants to run. He will now to the 10. He will to the 5. He will at the 2. And he's down at the 1-yard line with 41 minutes to go. They're coming right back to the line of scrimmage. They roll the clock from 40 seconds. He drops back and throws it into the turf. Clock just went to 37 before they could get it stopped. And now they'll face a second down and goal at the Aggie 1. Hornetese under center. As the halfback, Ferguson, looking for the uh, end zone, he gets in, down 34 seconds to go. From a yard out, just scored to make it 28-22. So the legal substitution. Porta T will go up under center. Now he backs away, and he will move Ferguson from his right to his left. Two wides each side as they go for two. Porta T wants to uh, pitch it. He goes to Ferguson. Ferguson's not going to get in. He is stopped at the goal line. All right, so. Okay. Here's the onside kick high in the air, and the Aggies have it. And jumping up and bringing that down, we'll see who it is. That's Jordan Pugh. He got hit pretty hard as he caught that ball, and that will do it to it at the 50-yard line. They'll start the uh, clock when he snaps the ball. There it is. He went down, took the knee, and now the last 30 seconds of this game will run off. And Texas A&M will walk out of here with a 28-22 win over the Lobos, Dave.
Well, we're pretty raggedy, you know. Uh, had a had a a slew of different things we had to deal with during the course of the game with injuries and juggling personnel in and out of the game, and we didn't we didn't do well. We had uh, we used up too many timeouts. Uh, uh, the couple of times we had too many guys on the field. So uh, as good as last week was uh, in game management, this week was the opposite. But the result is different. So who can figure? Last week we had one penalty. This week we have 10. And uh, last week we were flawless uh, in regard to the clock. Now part of that was the signaling and the new quarterback and all that stuff that, has, that goes with that. But still, there's no excuse for that. I thought we were a little bit raggedy right there. Um, offensively, I thought the key for the offense was the drive that we had, the 14-play drive at the end of the first half. Uh, I think with, with 50 seconds left on the clock, we scored the touchdown to Fuller. And to give us that breathing room going into the half, it allowed us to be as bad as we were on offense in the second half in the third quarter, which we weren't very good. And then we came back in the fourth quarter, moved the ball a little bit. But in the third quarter, I think we had one first down the third quarter. So not good there. I thought the key play in the game was after the muff punt, the ball was on the 14-yard line. And a defense held them to a field goal. Showed a lot of character right there. That would have been an easy one just to cave in and give it to them. And they uh, they they kept four points off the ball. It was a difference in the ball game, as it turned out. So, And obviously, they would have had to play the game differently, as would we, if that was a touchdown and, and not a field goal. So I think that was a, a key play in the game. Uh, Pew recovering the onside kick. You, you can't say anything. Uh, more about that. That's huge. He got hit in the ribs as he caught the ball and hung on to it. Uh, that was a big play. Mike Bennett recovering that fumble and uh, waddling down the sidelines like he did. Uh, that was a big play as well. We dropped too many passes. Uh, we had some plays we should have made in, in the game. We took a shot deep a couple of times, didn't make the catch, uh, dropped some balls we should have caught. And, um, you know, it was a raggedy deal. We, we need to get a lot better. And uh, I'm happy that we won the game. Uh, they had to deal with a lot of adversity in the ball game. I thought they responded well to that. Um, give credit to New Mexico. I thought they played hard and tenacious. And uh, the blitz package was constant, consistent. And, and um, they, did a good, they did a fine job. Uh, well, we have a week here uh, to, to regroup and get better and get healthy and, uh, and get ready for a very good football team uh, in two weeks. Thoughts on Gerard after getting thrown in so unexpected? Well, he, he, I thought he made some big plays. Um, he, he, you know, he, he uh, was a little rusty on a couple things in regard to formations and whatnot, but uh, he did make some plays for us, uh, some critical plays, and, and um, I thought he did a nice job considering the fact, as you guys know, you watch practice, uh, some of you guys do anyways, uh, that uh, the um, you know, second-team quarterback doesn't get a whole lot of work, you know, and so uh, since, since the – Steven's been the starter. His, his reps are very limited. So I thought overall he did a very good job. And if he didn't do the job he did, we wouldn't have won the ball game. He did a nice job.